Hello, for this video I'll be talking about IV site assessment as well as fluid assessment. Uh, I'm hoping to demonstrate this on Mr. Bear here, so I'm hoping that um, this fake IV site that I've concocted is enough to get the job done. Um, first and foremost, we're checking the IV site for complications. Um, what we'll do first is compare the MIR with um, the, the fluid that we see in the patient's room. Um, so here I have what would be hanging. Um, we'll check this fluid for particulates or any leaking. Um, in this case, it looks all good. We can also check the labeling on the bag, which is not on there, but um, to check and make sure that the bag hasn't expired or anything like that. Um, next, you can check the, if you're using an infusion rate machine, you can check the, um, the labeling and the rate on the machine, make sure that all matches up as well. Um, so next we can check the, the site dressing, which I have here with some tape and a, a makeshift, um, IV catheter. Um, so we should check the tape, make sure that it's adhered evenly on all of the edges, which it is. Um, we'll check to make sure there's no fluid or leakage. Uh, in addition, we'll check for coolness or pallor. Um, we're checking ultimately for, for phlebitis or um, infiltration. Um, so up next, we can ask the patient if they're having any pain or discomfort because that could also be a sign of either one. Um, I don't see any redness, swelling, or heat. Um, there's no signs of local or systemic infection either. The patient isn't experiencing any signs or symptoms of any of these things. Um, if they were, we would um, remove the IV and start it at another site and notify the provider that we did this. Um, when doing this, you can also educate the patient about um, reporting any pain because that's important. And in addition, we can educate them um, that if they hear any alarms coming from the infusion machine to let us know.